I need to move the... I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna do it today. Maybe a little bit of seasonal depression, maybe. <laughs> jacket probably don't need a winter jacket but it's cold i feel so cold i don't know about you guys but when it's like gloomy like this and it's cold and it's mucky and it's raining i don't know but i just don't feel like doing anything i just want to stay home in my bed in my room i don't want to do anything i don't know if it's a little bit of, it might be a little bit of seasonal depression maybe because it always happens around this time around fall of course in the winter time it's the worst but i just feel not not so much lazy but i don't know maybe a little bit down i don't know what it is but it happens all the time but anyways i have some packages here um shein packages that i purchased maybe about a month ago shein is a hit and miss um and so these were misses so they're going back i have three packages here i actually have one more in the very back i forgot to um put a label on it three packages that need to go to canada post and back back to the warehouse so um anyways i like i said i've been feeling like ugh all day so i'm gonna head to starbucks get myself a frappuccino of course of course that's gonna give me a quick a fast like pick me up and then i may just crash again but i kind of want to just feel good like right now so i'm just gonna go anyways um then i'll probably drop these off and then i gotta go to the PO box pick up some stuff i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day but that's my day so far went through some emails oh i have to package some orders a lot of you guys ordered stuff from our online store um over the weekend so i gotta deal with that get those shipped out yeah what are you guys doing on a monday school work i work from home so my days are they're kind of crazy they're kind of all over the place deal with the store do social media cook clean i mean the regular stuff i did not map out my day this week i noticed one thing with myself if i don't plan out my week i'm in trouble i'm i'm screwed and i did not do that on sunday um yesterday usually i plan out exactly what i'm going to do for the week and i did not so i'm kind of all over the place today we're still getting things done so also one thing i want to talk to you guys about is budgeting so i've always heard people talk about budgeting and you know people having planners and stuff like that to stay organized and I don't know I just never thought that I needed to do it until recently I was like you know what I've been spending a lot of mon money lately let me see what I'm actually spending my money on like I know what I'm spending it on but how much because you just swipe right you just swipe you don't really know how things are adding up it's like 40 bucks here 100 bucks there 200 20 bucks like you don't take in that this stuff is adding up so I sat down the other day with a budget planner that I got from Amazon and uh, good chunk of my money is going towards food lately we've been ordering a lot of uber eats well me because i i i love to eat different types of food um so i've been ordering a lot of uber eats and like three times a week um i stopped doing that by the way but like three times a week and it's like 40 bucks every time so 40 times three that's over 100 bucks anyways let's just say 100 dollars. do that every week so that's four weeks that's, you're looking at way over 400 bucks. And that's just Uber Eats, that's just ordering in. I'm not even calculating us actually going out and buying stuff to eat. I'm not calculating us buying groceries. Like, you're looking at like eight, a thousand dollars a month on just food alone. So, um, I'm really happy that I got myself that budget planner. If you guys don't have one and you're struggling with your, you know, money and stuff, 
get yourself a budget planner or even like a notebook you don't even have to get a budget planner just get a notebook and every every time you spend money write it down and see where it's going and how much you're spending and if you're spending more than what you're making or put aside some money for your savings or whatever you know stuff like that so a lot of my money I'm spending a lot on food and I was trying to figure out like why and food just makes me feel good so whenever I feel like I don't like how I look um, for example I had baby weight that baby weight's gone and I put on COVID weight so now I have this COVID weight and it's bothering me food has been the thing that has been making me feel good which is not good food it's like cookies ice cream cakes donuts pizza like all that stuff that's gonna obviously make you gain weight so um, yeah I completely cut that out um, I had said to myself end of September we're changing things up and when October starts we are not spending money on outside food and I've been really I've been doing really really good so it's now it's October what's, October 17 and I haven't spent anything outside besides one time I did go out with my friend last week and I haven't seen her a really long time so I don't, I'm not even gonna count that as um, I'm not gonna see that as a problem because we honestly need to catch up so that was fine um, versus me going out like three times a week ordering like three times a week it's a lot so and then today um, like I was saying I haven't been buying anything usually I go to Tim Hortons like every morning like so bad so I was like you know what let me just go to Starbucks I'm gonna write this down um, that I've already gone to Starbucks for the month uh, or for the week or whatever and yeah so it's been good having a budget planner has really kept me on my toes i don't know if any of you guys have one has it been helpful has it not been helpful let me know anyways i thought i would share that with you guys i recently got if i could reach it oh it's so far anyways i recently got a camera mount a camera holder so that way i can vlog and drive because i've been wanting to do that but it's kind of hard when this thing just slides so i got one i just gotta set it up I'll probably do it later when I get back from Starbucks. Oh, as for my hair, it's kind of uneven. You guys are gonna see a quick little, I'll, I'll insert a footage for you guys of me trying to do this hairstyle that I saw on Pinterest. Um, I thought it was really cute and I thought that I could recreate it. It didn't come out good, as you can see. It's all messy now, it's it's really old now. It's probably like five days old. And I gotta like redo it and actually fix it because you'll see in the video that one side had way too much hair I think it's this side. This side, this twist is too big and this twist is small. But I've been rocking it. Honestly, I don't even care. It kind of flattened down um, because I've been sleeping on it, but it's still kind of big on this side. And also I've been wearing hats, so you wouldn't even know. I put on my silk scarf and then I put a hat on top because that's cold. It's very cold. Like my hands are like very cold. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. All right, you guys, I'm currently in the bathroom, and as you can see, my hair is a mess. It is super dry. I blew it out using the Rev Air blow dryer, the new one, actually, a couple days ago, and I've just been so lazy to actually, you know, do my hair, so I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. So I saw this picture on Pinterest, and I want to recreate it. I'll insert the photo here. Um, I thought it was really cute, and I want to recreate it, so I blew up my hair, and... Yeah, so today I'm probably going to be using um, Camille Rose Almond J Twisting Butter. I'm going to be using this. And I'm going to be using my favorite hair oil, um, Hibiscus Fusion. All right, you guys, so my camera was making a lot of noise. It was trying to focus, so you probably were hearing that annoying sound in the beginning. But anyways, I am trying to recreate that photo that I showed you guys. I'm just doing some two-strand twists at the back of my head, and I'm just trying my best to part it. So this is what it looked like after I was done twisting up the section. Definitely needed to be a little bit neater, but it's okay for now. I'll probably do a twist out later. And then this is me the next day. I was actually heading out and I want to see what my hair looked like. So you guys can see that one side of my head is a lot flatter than the other and I was like, oh my god, I have to go out in like 10 minutes and look at my hair. Yeah, so this was an absolute fail. This did not turn out like how it looked in the photo. I feel like this side was okay, the back, uh, the other side, awful. But it's okay, I'm gonna try to recreate this again. Um, the first time I was definitely frustrated and overwhelmed. So I just got back from Starbucks 
and the P.O. Box. The P.O. Box didn't really have anything, nothing I can show you guys on camera. Um, I did Christmas shopping a little bit early. I can't share anything I picked up. But from Starbucks, I got Caramel Ribbon Crunch. I think that's what it's called. And I got a grande, so that's what it looks like. All right, you guys, so I just installed a camera holder I was telling you guys about earlier. Um, but also I'm noticing like this weird blur. Do you guys see that right here? This weird blur. I don't know what it is, but anyways, we're gonna have to ignore that until I get a new phone. I went to get the iPhone 14, but you know when iPhones first come out, there's always like some type of glitch. There's always something that goes wrong with it. So I wanna wait it out before I grab it. I've already finished paying off this phone. This is the iPhone 11. Um, so I'm definitely due for an upgrade but now I'm hearing that the iPhone 15 is coming out unless that's just a rumor but that's what I'm hearing it's like hmm I might as well just wait but I like this blur I hate it anyways I'll figure it out I was wondering if maybe my, my lens was dirty but it's not I've cleaned it a million times I do have like a screen protector on so I don't know if the lens was blurry um, before the guy put it on for me, he didn't clean it good, so that could be it. Um, or I don't know, see, like it's such a weird blur on like my jacket and the side of my face. I can flip the camera around, but when I look into the camera, it's gonna look weird. So I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I'm on my way to pick up a ride from daycare. Usually, on in the evenings when he comes in, we I give him like you know time to play and then of course we sit down and do some like letters numbers he is oh he's a handful <laughs> he is like he's very restless he like he can't sit still for very long so i try to make it fun um d actually got this app for him on his tablet um called abc mouse um and has a lot of like really fun educational games on there and he really likes it so I try to do that with him and he's been doing really good with it so ugh, what is going on with my phone like this is uh, I'm not liking this blur I might have to just like turn it around it's okay you guys so I went ahead and flipped the phone around I just turned it so now the blur is on this side so when Amari comes in the car he's gonna be a blur I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens but um yeah so that's what we, that's what we do in the evenings and then of course it gets dinner bath time bedtime stories and all that um so i want to try and vlog that because i haven't really been vlogging amari um because usually when he gets home it's late and i kind of just want to spend time with him so we'll see we'll see how this goes but it's my first vlog on this side on this channel i don't know maybe it's just the light you know what it could be the light from outside that's making it blurry i don't know but we'll, we'll figure it out I'm trying to find things that's fun for amari because he doesn't like flashcards. like that is boring for him like i try to do that with him every day and it's just like he just does not have the attention span for it i i don't know uh, so i try to put like you know some excitement into the flashcards, but it's just boring for him. The apps have been really, really good. Um, I guess that's just where we are right now with the kids and technology. Like they prefer that over, and it's not every kid, of course. There's kids who love to read, sit down and read. Um, Amari just, I don't know, he just likes to play. So however I can teach him in a playful way, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Because every kid learns differently. Even myself, I always, always, I always got distracted in class. Um, and focus and stuff like other things would just catch my attention like a sound or somebody doing something so i guess amari's just the same way so yeah some kids learn through music some learn through art um yeah so anyways if you guys have any tips maybe you have a child or know somebody that has a child that's very 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 busy and has a hard time sitting still if you have any tips please share because Amari is a handful when it comes to trying to teach him. I try to just spend like 5-10 minutes 
doing like the flashcards and stuff because after that even before that he's i've already lost him <laughs> he's talking about dinosaurs or something else or going to grandma's house so yeah oh man it's it's a lot but we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere he's in daycare so he learns there as well and then he learns when he gets home but it's not easy all right you guys i'm gonna grab this boy so mari is in the car but see you can't see him you can't see amari it's blurry and then of course this is blocking his face i should have oh man i'm so mad i need to move the camera mount i wasn't thinking about this hold on oh shoot it's like it's stuck now ah i don't think no it's not gonna come off oh, great how can i fix this how can i make yeah i don't know i messed up i should have did it when all right so i flipped the camera back around so now the blur is back on my side and you can see him a little bit better say hi no. Yeah, he's in a he's in a mood today. I'm so tired. You're so tired. Um. Oh, no, man. I want juice. He wants juice. He's tired. He wants to watch his show. All these things. I gotta figure out this. Okay, so at least you guys can see him better now. I don't know what the difference is. Why it for some reason. Is work. Um, you know what? He's leaning, so that's probably why. He's being silly. I'm waiting for this lady to walk past. She's right behind the car. Why is she standing right behind the car? Like, I want to move. Yeah, I have to wait. There's a lady behind the car. You guys can't see her, but she's like right behind. Okay, there she is. Yes. Oh gosh, now I have to wait for her to now that she's in the van right here so i gotta wait anyways how was daycare it was good today yeah i want the shark book shark book yes i don't know about no shark book i don't have shark book we don't have no shark book back okay come Ugh. Parking at his daycare is so congested at this hour. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. You gotta pick him up be anytime before 5.30 and I always come around five, but like this is the worst time to come because there's so much traffic, so much traffic. You go right, it's hell. You go left, it's hell. Like it just sucks. Anyways, I will talk to you guys when we get home because I don't wanna get distracted while I'm driving and trying to navigate my way out of this mess. Okay, so Amari went to plant leaves before we go inside. Yeah, you can't climb up there. You'll fall. You try. You try. It's too big. Yeah, you could try. It's too tall. Can you help me, Mom? Can you help? Can I help you? Okay, give me your hand. Ready? Go! Oops! Yes, hi! No, 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 I don't want to go inside the leaves. Mommy. No, we're not going in the garage today, Amari. Alright, so this is one of the games I was talking about. They do matching numbers, letters. So right now he's doing like a matching game with different shapes. But sometimes he likes to be very silly and do <laughs> the wrong thing. Just to hear them say, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. So yeah, that's Amari for you. But yeah, he enjoys playing these types of No, Amari, don't end the game. Okay, press play. You don't end the game. You gotta press the arrow to go to the next one. Which is the smallest one? Which is the smallest? No, smallest, smallest. No, big. See, see what I mean? He likes to do the opposite of what you tell him to do. Amari, the smallest one. You see? And this is what I was telling you guys. 
He likes to be very silly. Amari. Yes? <clears throat> pick the small one. Small. The very, very small one. No, small! Yes. Pick the small one. Good job. So, I, oh. <sighs> so that is a little glimpse of Amari just doing what Amari wants to do. He's very, very stubborn. But, yeah. I really gotta like sit with him and make sure that he's doing the right thing because he likes to do his own thing. You tell him to do the smallest one, it's like, no, I'm already the biggest one. So. Mom, mom, I don't want you to go through the cabbage. Anyways, you guys, um, I finished seasoning a salmon before I went to um, pick up Amari. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Not yet, actually. I wanna make like a little bit of a saute i guess and then pour it over the salmon and then put it in the oven so i'm gonna do that in a second and then i had cooked yesterday but i think we need some rice kind of low on rice so i'm gonna do that um we have veggies we're good with that but yeah yeah i don't know if you guys have instacart where you guys are um it's basically where you can order your group your groceries online and someone brings it just like uber eats and doordash and all those little um companies so Instacart, I used it last night because I wanted to get a few things from Costco, but I didn't want to drive to Costco. We don't have a lot of locations in Toronto. They're like really spread out. So um, it's about maybe 20 minutes drive. Yeah, about 20 minutes drive. And I feel like going out at like seven o'clock. So um, anyways, I ordered some chicken breasts and a huge thing of salmon. And the one that I clicked on, or the chicken breast that I wanted, I don't know, I guess it wasn't in stock or something. So the guy who was picking up my food, um, he he showed me a different option. I'm like, okay, cool. The price was looking a little off. Like it was half the price of what it normally is. So normally it's around 30 bucks. The one that he was telling me to choose was like 14 bucks. I'm like, can I see a photo? Cause it was, it was just looking real odd. Anyways, he sent me a photo of it and it says chicken breast is the Kirkland brand. And it looks exactly like the one that I normally get, just a different brand. And the price wasn't 14, it was actually 30. Anyways, I'm like, that's fine. You can pick up that one. Anyways, <laughs> the chicken breast arrives and it's not chicken breast, it's chicken thigh. And I was livid. I was really upset. So I, um, you know, I complained to Instacart and they gave me a refund because like chicken breast and chicken thigh are like two completely different things. Like the flavor is different, the texture is different, the protein is so different. All right, you guys, so that's the end of the vlog. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed it and if you guys wanna see more. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.